I joined I-24 News in the summer of 2013, uh, right when the network uh, went on air. Uh, and I was 21, a baby. So the channel and I really grew up together, evolved together. There's so many momentous events in the past uh, decade, uh, from the White House to the Kremlin, Europe, Africa, war, peace, uh, elections, rapprochement. But um, the uh, final push of the Iran nuclear talks uh, in Vienna in the summer of 2015, Definitely a major one. Well, the parties continue to negotiate the terms of an agreement. So. We were originally sent there for three days. It was supposed to be the finale, but one extension followed the other and the, another one. So we ended up being there for 21 days alongside journalists from all over the world, of course. And uh, I was the only full Israeli on the ground for, for the entire period. And by the way, the uh, press tent uh, right across the Palais Kubourg where uh, negotiations took place, ironically enough, was the Theodore Herzl Square. So it was a constant reminder that I too am a Jewish journalist, but unlike Herzl, I'm an Israeli as well. And at some point, uh, you get in the rhythm, you know, the, the first time the top diplomats of all global superpowers came out to speak to us, I was in complete awe. But on the fourth day and the 10th day and the 19th, you get used to it. And then it was D-Day, the P5 plus one, and Iran, of course, uh, finally reached a nuclear uh, deal. Tectonic geopolitical shifts. You really cannot underestimate the, the gravitas of, of such an event. And when taking over the podium, before even announcing they actually reached a deal, U.S. Secretary of State uh, John Kerry uh, said thank you to the journalist uh, for for powering through. So I know this has been a long couple of weeks for everybody, including uh, above all the press who've waited long hours during the day for very little news. Uh, and we're very grateful for your patience. And then it hit me. I wasn't just witnessing history. I was part of it.